Do you have same thing going on when people see you with your giant bag and they're like, oh look, bag full of sandwiches. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, you know. You know what? Let's talk about hike and fly equipment. What's in my bag? There's no better feeling than having paragliding setup that's small, compact, not too heavy and most importantly, efficient for our needs. I've spent so much time in the process of finding my perfect setup and here it is. Alright, now let's unpack this backpack and I'll show you what I have inside, explain you why I have that gear that I have and how you can optimize your setup so you'll enjoy in maximum hike and fly pleasure. Let's start with the backpack. As you can see, it's speaking for itself. I'm using it a lot, so it's time to get a new one. But anyways, what I really like about this backpack is that it's really simple, you know? You have one main pocket, one side pocket, and then you have these four side straps, and with those you can easily compress, bam, your whole thing, depending on how much gear you have inside. Now, if we dive in, first thing, I have my helmet, which is something that's, you know, usable also for climbing and all that stuff, so I have all-in-one gloves then reserve then there is the harness as you can see this one is really simple and that's what i like i want my hike and fly harness to be easy you know no unnecessary straps unnecessary locking points or whatsoever bam you put it on and you're good to go, you know? And that's it, everything is in place. And then here's the most important thing and that's our ring. Ah. So, as you can see, I have it packed in this fast packing bag. And to be honest, this is how it is most of the time. Why? Because a lot of times we're doing hike and flies early in the morning or very late sunset flights and at that time everything is usually a little wet and all that so this is the easiest and fastest way to you know pack up your wing without rolling it all over the ground too much if you're wondering what wing do i have well it's 18 meters little cloud gt and yeah one thing I'm gonna say about wing and that's that I wanna have wing that's reliable in as much situations as possible. Let me explain. There's tons of wings and gear out there available and the mission is to find something that will give you the best all-around options. Something you can really count on all the time so you don't worry about takeoffs or slight wind change and stuff like that that happens in the mountains all the time. All right, one thing I've learned about hike and fly adventures is that once you start out, you know, and you're doing hike and flies to hills and mountains that have nice big grassy takeoffs, it's all good, nothing really matters that much as when you start moving up higher to the mountains where all the rocks are and all that stuff, that's when things will start to show off, you know, you'll see what works, all the good stuff, all the bad stuff and that's why it's so important to know what's your main goal about all that. I want something that feels compact, is durable and with shorter lines. And that's why I'm using my 18 meters almost all the time. It gives me great wind range, soaring possibilities, feels very safe and fun, and even some fast speed flying thing is possible. Point is to find gear that fits your style of flying and gear that will make you feel safe and confident. Equipment that will give you enough margin for unpredictable situations. You know, mountains can be wild. Sometimes the lightest and smallest options are not the best. But I always say, less stress, more fun. Focus on fun and happiness. 